The measurements we're going to be needing for this skirt pattern are our hip circumference measurement, which is 40. If you've watched my basic gown video, then you already know how to measure your hip circumference. But if you haven't, I'm going to put it in the description and maybe I'm going to link it somewhere up here in this video. Next, also, you're going to be needing your waist circumference measurement, which here is 28. And our waist to hip, in this case, is 9. If you watched my previous videos on drafting a basic gown, then you would know how to locate your waist and then you'll be able to measure from your waist to your hip okay so that's nine inches and also we'll be needing our skirt length that is from our waist when you find your waist to wherever you want your skirts to get to so let's get started so as you can see here on my paper i already have some lines i have here what i have called a top line here it's actually like a margin or a top margin but I've called it WL because this is going to be my waistline, okay? So there's no particular measurement for the margin. I just use my discretion. This is about one inch, actually. Next, I have a line on my left here, okay? And this is CB or center back, okay? So there's also no particular measurement for determining your CB. However, I just left about two inches on this side. So next also... I have here my CF or center front on the right, okay? And to determine my CF, I'll just take my circumference measurement, the largest. And in this case, the largest circumference measurement I have is my hip, which is 40 inches. So I just took 40 inches, divided it by 2, and I added 2 inches. And that was 22 inches. So I measured 22 from this my CB line to this other side, okay? And that was how I got that line. Now, you would also notice that I have a line here, a horizontal line here, which I, I called my hip line, okay? So, this is simply the distance from my waist to my hip, okay? And that's 9 inches, like I told you earlier when I was showing you my measurements. So, I measured from the waistline here to this point, and that was 9 inches. So, I drew this line across from my CB to my CF, okay? So, finally, I have this line here which I called my hemline or knee line. Okay, this is simply the distance from my waistline here to wherever you want your skirts to get to, okay? It could be your knee or wherever. So that's the distance from the waist to the knee line. And it's, you can also call it the hemline. Okay, so that was 24 inches. So that's how I call this line here. I measure 24 from this waist downwards, okay? So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. So now we're going to start with our center back okay so for our center back we are going to be putting that so for the that on the center back to determine how to get the that's what we're going to be doing is that we are going to take our bust span measurement now if you have watched my previous video any of my previous videos both the basic gown basic bodies block you would have seen how I determine my bust span. So I'm going to repeat it here. So to determine your bust span, what you need to do is you need to take your bust and divide it by 4 and subtract 1.5. Okay? So you take your bust divided by 4 and then you subtract 1.5. So that would give me, my bust is 38. So when I calculate it, that will give me 8. Okay? So my bust span is 8. Now to make your dots, what you need to do is you need to further divide your bust span by 2 by two okay so when i divide that by two it gave me four inches okay so i'm going to take that four inches now and here's what i'll do with it so i'll mark four inches from this cb towards the side okay so i'll be marking four inches on my waistline here and also four inches on my hip line okay So now I'm going to draw a line to connect these four inches on my waistline and this one on my hip line. So I'll just make it a broken line because we do not really need that line. It's just a guide and you'll see why it's a guide. So I'll just draw a broken line. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is on this my hip line here. Okay. I'm going to come up by two inches. So from the hip line, I'll come up by two inches and i'll just mark that here so 
so what i'm going to do next is i would come up here on my waistline and on both sides i will move away by half of an inch you could use points as much as 0.75 or as much as one inch depending on how shapey you want the skirt to be to look at the back okay so in this um, for illustration purposes i'm just going to be moving away by half of an inch on both sides okay so i will just use my measuring tip and i'll measure half of an inch on this side and half of an inch on the other side okay so now i'm going to connect these three points this half of an inch mark to this two inch mark and back to this half of an inch mark i hope it makes sense probably it will make sense when i draw the lines okay so this is what we have okay so that's it for the darts on the back okay so for the front you can also do the same thing to make your darts in front but usually i do not add darts to the front parts of my skirt okay because i do not see the need but if you want to if you feel the need to do it you can just do the exact same thing here okay just the exact same thing we did on the back just do the same thing in the front okay so let's proceed so the next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to be imputing our body measurements on this pattern okay so let's start from the back so for the back before we impute our body measurements what we we'll need to do is we we'll would come to this hemline okay on this hemline can you see this we would mark one inch okay so we'll mark one inch so i've marked one inch on the hemline or the knee line okay always, always do this on the knee line or the hemline so i marked one inch here so i'm going to take this one inch i will rule a line that connects from here back to the hip line let me do it so you understand what i'm talking about so i'll just rule a line from the hip here to this one inch mark and this is our new center back line okay so this is our back tightening it helps the back of the skirt to be shapey to have a really nice shape okay so now we'll go ahead to impute our measurements let's start from our waist measurements for the back so the waist circumference is 28 inches so here's what we're going to do we'll take 28 divided by 4 and that is 7 okay so 28 divided by 4 is 7 so i will mark 7 from the cb i'll mark 7 here remember we took in our dart it darts here okay so we'll have to add what we have here okay if not there'll be a shortage so we took half inch this way and half inch this way that's one inch if you measure it is one inch okay so we're going to add that one inch here after that seven inch mark okay so we'll mark one inch here okay and that is our waist measurement so we'll move down now to the hip so on the hip we'll also take our hip circumference which is 40 divided by four so when you divide 40 by 4, you get 10. I'll mark 10 on the hip line. So this right here is 10 inches. So I'll mark 10 inches here. Now, for the hemline, what we are going to do is this. We'll take our hip also again, once again, divide it by 4. Okay? So when you take your hip, divide by 4. In this case, our hip is 40 inches. It could be whatever. Use your hip measurement okay so in this case our hip is 40 divided by 4 and that is 10 inches so we are going to subtract 2 inches from that 10 inches okay so when you take your hip divided by 4 whatever you get you subtract 2 inches from it so when we subtract 2 inches what we have is 8 so we measure that 8 from this contour line okay or this new center back line so i'll be marking 8 inches here okay so now i would connect all these points where yeah, i marked my measurements using my hip cup ruler as well as my stretch ruler so let's do that okay so that is it for the back panel okay so we are done with this let's move our, over to the front We'll start with our waist measurement so our waist measurement divided by four is seven okay so we have our mark seven here then i also come to my hip 
keep divided by 4 is 10. I mark 10 here. Then to the hemline, we're going to use the hip also. So hip divided by 4 plus, sorry, minus 2. So hip divided hip in this case is 40 divided by 4. And that is 10. And we subtract 2 inches, okay? That's 8. So I'll mark 8 here. Okay, so I will use my hip curve ruler to connect this point. Okay, so that's it for the front. You can see it's looking, our skirt is looking nice already. So take note of something. This is only applicable. This is applicable when you want to make a pencil skirt. But if you want to make a straight skirt that is not too curvy, here's what you do. From your hip line, okay? From your hip line, you just draw a line straight down, okay? Using your straight ruler, okay? You see? And that's it. That's your straight skirt. Just from your hip line, just draw a line all the way down okay also the same thing on the back use a straight ruler and rule a line straight down to the hemline okay that's after curving from waist to hip you just rule a straight line from your hip downwards okay but if you want to make a normal pencil sketch then just use your curve okay now to eliminate whatever excess is going to form on this front side this waist part of your skirt around here okay we're going to do something and that is we'll come down by one inch on this center front line here come down by one inch you could use 1.5 or one inch whatever depending on how much you think you need and then we we'll use a curve our hip curve ruler to just connect it back draw a new curve back not a line this time but a new curve we'll draw a line back to our waist okay so this is going to help your skirt to sit very well on your waist and you will not have any excess fabric around this area okay so that's it for our basic skirt pattern as you can see it was really easy to draft but if you find it difficult all you have to do is watch the video over and over again and you can pause it at intervals to um see the step that was done and also practice on your own thank you so much guys if you want to see more educational videos like this all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell notification icon so that each time i post a video you'll be the first to see it thank you guys